ان الذين كفروا ينفقون اموالهم ليصدوا عن سبيل الله when this army of 1000 people came much was needed in funds also to raise that army the provisions they must have the provisions for the army the arms and so on to equip the army because there were no standing armies there it was not the byzantine empire or the persian empire where they had the standing armies of thousands and thousands and lakhs and lakhs hundreds thousands yeah, there is a volunteer volunteer army from makkah so when you know they decided to raise an army they needed funds and people contributed generously and this ayah refers to this inna ladina kafaru yunfiquna amwalahum these people who disbelieve who have committed kufr they are spending their money their wealth li yasuddu an sabilillah what for to stop people from the path of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look to them they are also spending just as the muslims were spending for the cause of allah for the cause of deen to establish the deen of allah they were also spending they were also making sacrifices they were also risking their lives fasa yunfiqunaha they will go on doing this this is a prophecy which came to be true expeditions after expeditions attacks after attacks they were continuing and definitely they were spending for that fasa yunfiqunaha summa takunu alaihim hasratan so until that will become you know a regret upon them we spent our money also but what what was the result we were overpowered we were conquered by muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so may yuglaboon they will be overpowered they will be overcome wal ladina kafaru ila jahannam yusharun and the real punishment is that these unbelievers will be gathered towards jahannam towards the fire of hell le yamid allah un khabisa min at tayyib again very important this is because allah wants to discriminate the good from the bad the wicked from the good shifting because at makka you were you know mixed muslims were there and the kufars were there now allah subhanahu wa taala opened the door of hijra muslims were separated so shifting had been done now this side and that side absolutely clear li yamid allah al khabisa min at tayyib wa yaj'al al khabisa ba'dahu ala ba'zi ala ba'zin fa yarkumahu fa jami'an fa yaj'alahu fi fi jahannam and then you know to take that foul and wicked thing and stack it one over the other make it a heap and then as a whole throw them into the fire of hell wa yajal al khabis ba'da wa la ba'din stacking one over the other fa yarkumahu and gathering them making them into a heap fa yajalahu fi jahannam and then throwing that heap into the fire of hell ulaika humul khasirun definitely they are the losers losers in this world as well as losers in the hereafter qul lil ladina kafaru in yantahu yughfar yughfar lahum ma qad salaf this is the last chance which is being given to the quraish of makkah the unbelievers who rejected muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam qul lil ladina kafaru o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam say to these people who had this disbelieved who have rejected your call of iman in yantahu if they stop here if they desist if they change their attitude yughfaru lahum ma qad salaf then what has what has passed allah subhanahu wa taala will forgive, forgive them even now if they come to believe if we accept you as the messenger of allah subhanahu wa taala allah will just condone whatever has happened in the past وَإِنْ يَعُودُوا فَقَدْ مَضَتْ سُنَّةُ الْأَوَّلِينَ But if they repeat what they have been doing, then you know the examples of the ancients have already passed. They know what happened to Aad, and they know what happened to Samud, and they must know what happened to Fir'aun and his army and his chiefs. Though the examples have passed. 
they will be added to the list of those examples that's all but even now if they believe if they accept muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam if they embrace islam if we enter the deen of allah yadkhuluna fi deen allah afwaja allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive them their past deeds